All right, we're back with another video about the modified OG Xbox. This is my homebrew. So you guys didn't know that Xbox actually has a huge homebrew community of different games. You can install the artwork and have all, I have all the Tomb Raiders. And if you actually want to get more homebrews, they're actually readily available on the system as long as you have it connected to the internet or your Ethernet adapter. So you want to do is press start over here. And then this is our menu, which you kind of do everything from. You're going to go over to settings. You're going to press A. And you're going to go into the downloader. You're going to go in and press a on your controller and this is our menu over here if you notice there's a menu over here called homebrews so you go into the homebrews you press a these are all the available homebrew games on the xbox network as of today so you can kind of see the spaces in the universe players you know some games are big some games are small dabble one is 500 megabytes and this is download don't forget you have to extract these as well so they're going to be a little bit bigger once they're extracted, this is just the download size. And it does give you like a little information about the game with a little screenshot. But you can absolutely download games here if you want to get Rise of the Triad. For, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to install this real fast. So you're going to have to press A and then press A to download. If you notice, we are connected to the internet and this should work. I haven't updated this Xbox, so we might need to download it from the Google Drive. It does that when it checks for updates. So you only have to do this if you haven't checked in, I think, for a few days. I've had this Xbox off for a few days because I've been working on my other ones. So we're going to wait for that. As you see, I have to update. All right, we're downloading the game now. All right, when I ask you to download to location, I build all of my drives the same way. We are going to go to our F drive. The F drive has all my things labeled correctly. If you notice, I have a folder already called Homebrew. We're going to press A to the Homebrew. We're actually just going to go over right and just hit OK because it's going to automatically create the folder for you. So it just wants to select the location. You notice I press OK. And now this is downloading in the correct directory. This is if you're having issues. The games go in the game directory. Homebrews go in the home directory. Emulators go with the emulators. It's not very difficult. I, I set up my stuff all the same way. So just make sure it goes in the correct drive. We're going to wait for this to finish the download. When it's done downloading, you'll see OK. And let's go see the game. So now we're going to go back, back, and we're going to go back to our homebrew. So we'll go to Homebrew, press A, and it's going to load the game automatically for us. And it should be here. Let's see if it's here. Rise of the Triad and the artwork works. So if you ever have this and your artwork isn't working, I'm going to show you guys a little, another, another little secret. You can press this little white button here, and you can go over here into uh, Edit or Refresh. You press A, and then you can either edit the title name if you named it incorrectly. You can refresh the info, which if you have the artwork on your hard drive, it will pull it. Or you can refresh all the contents. This will refresh all the folders in this area. So what this does is it goes through all your games and refreshes the titles for the artwork. So if you run your artwork generator, you then want to do a refresh. And then if it's not pulling the correct games, you can manually update them or name them as well with the artwork generator. So enjoy. That's how to get a homebrew.